Hello everyone. Some of you are still having trouble getting organized. Let's take a quick look at what it is that you should be doing for yourself. The first thing you need to do is consult the class website and you can find that at wikmtl.ca. Go down to the um, website page and click on our course and you will come to this page here and it has everything listed by week, by number, all the stuff that you need to do so you can stay on track. The next thing you need to do is you need to be looking at your email at least once a day because all of the notifications from Google Classroom come into your email as well as any announcements from me. So here you see that on the 13th of March, you got this email about your notes for module four due. Check your email when in doubt. The next thing is to be looking at your calendar. Your calendar should be your headquarters for everything that you need to do to get organized. I made a video for you about that. Look at that video if you can't remember what I'm talking about or maybe you didn't look at it. So this is the test student account that I have and anything that is in green on this calendar is stuff coming from the Introduction to Psychology calendar that's connected to the Google Classroom. So over here, back in February, you can see that there was an assignment due, the, the notes. If you click on that, it'll give you a descriptor of what the assignment was. You can also see that this student is using the task um, uh, feature of the calendar. It, everything that is task related is in orange. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at that video I made for you. And also, if we check out the next month, you see that the student is also using the reminders that I showed you how to use also in that video. So check that out. Now, when you are in Versal, you don't get, and Versal is a learning platform, you don't get any emails and reminders, but if you uh, just look at uh, your quizzes quickly, you see, the mark that you got and if you did it or not and the answers that you that you gave. The next thing that you need to be looking at is the uh, Google Classroom website and when you go on to when you log in for the first time and you'll see under stream this is what you've got coming up tomorrow. The bibliography is due. I extended it until Tuesday. Then the day after you've got your regular work that you need to have done at the end of that module to begin the new one and everything in the stream that I've ever posted for you. And on February 2nd, you can go down to this one here, use Google Apps to beat that procrastination monster was the title of the video. If you need to take a look at that video because you can't remember what I'm talking about. Um, look at under classwork here, and this is just sort of like a summary of everything I've given. Look at view your work. So this test student here, um, has two things coming up. Assigned means it was assigned to you and it's not yet done. Big red letters missing, you never did it. Then here you see your marks and here you see something that is passed and was never turned in. So everything that you've done should have um, a mark on it. You should not see any missing or any assigned, okay? And you can click on these filters here to see more specifically all of the things that you uh, were returned with the grade. The zero, unfortunately, is a grade and that's why it's listed here. So again, on Edpuzzle, which is another uh, site that's important to us, you can see quickly at a glance, these are the, uh, the works that you have in progress. This one here, Flex Your, your Cortex, this is because the student didn't do it from module, I don't know, the, the first module, I think. These two here, this is what we're in right now. And well, you don't have to worry about the upcoming, but here is what you see um, for uh, what you're supposed to be working on right now. What did you actually already do? Well, this student only really did this one here. And you can also see the mark that you got. And so folks, um, there are lots of different ways that I'm sure you might have come up with to get organized so that you don't um, get into the problem of leaving things at the last minute and uh, not getting your work done, not handling um, the deadlines properly. This is just a quick recall for 
what it is that you should be doing. These are like your basic, basic tools. And you guys are really bright, and I'm sure that you've got your own system for staying on top of things. That's it, folks.